realized that what I'd always thought was happiness couldn't compare to the joy loving you has brought to me. For you're a part of everything that I think and do and feel. And with you by my side, I believe anything's possible. Thank you for the miracle of you, for you are and always will be the love of my life. Now the Bible says a great deal about marriage, for it was at the wedding feast that Jesus began his miracles. And Paul in his writings spoke of marriage. It's the most noble of all agreements entered into by two people. But the best story is found in the very beginning of the book. For there it says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, and God created the first man and made him Adam, and God gave Adam dominion over all the world. But after a season God looked that it wasn't good that Adam was alone, so he created a help and he created Eve. And we believe likewise in this generation that God creates one, yet to help the other. Now the matter of the creation of woman suggests several truths about that, a happy marriage. For the woman wasn't taken from man's foot to be trampled on by neither was she taken from his head to dominate or to rule him, but rather she came from his side to walk with him as a companion. She was taken from under his arm to be protected and embraced by him, near his heart to be loved and cherished by him. Adam recognized a woman as being bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. And the writer of this beautiful story sums up Adam's expression by stating, and they became as one. Now this is the ideal understanding of marriage. Your dreams and desires are now becoming one. Your successes and your failures will be shared mutually. It will be as though one heart were beating in two bodies and one purpose controlling two destinies. For true love does not consist of constantly gazing into the eyes of one another, but true love grows by looking outward together in the same direction. And so it is, Mary, that you and Tasha have become to me signifying your desire to be formally united in marriage, and being assured there are no legal, moral, or religious hindrances that would stop this union, I'm going to ask that you give Mother your flowers and turn and join hands one with the other. Now, Eric. <coughs> You're going to be talking to her. Okay? <laughs> you repeat after me. Tasha, I love you with my entire being. Tasha, I love you with my entire being. I want you to be my wife. I want you to be my wife. Today I give myself to you without reservation. Today I give myself to you without reservation. And ask that you share your life with me. And ask that you share your life with me. For all time and eternity. For all time and eternity. During health or illness. During health or illness. <laughs> Good times or bad. Good times or bad. And enjoy or sorrow. And enjoy your sorrows. I promise you, Tasha, to love you as no other can. I promise to love you, Tasha, as no other can. To be your best friend. To be your best friend. To give you my complete loyalty, fidelity, and trust. To give you my complete loyalty, fidelity, and trust. Do you accept me as your husband? Do you accept me as your husband? Eric, <laughs> <laughs> I love you with my entire to you without reservation. And ask that you share your life with me. For all time and eternity. During health or illness. Good times or bad. And joy or sorrow. I promise you, Eric, to love you as no other can. To be your best friend. To give you my complete loyalty, fidelity, and trust. Do you accept me as your wife? I do. That was the right <laughs> And the poet said it this way. All I want is to love you for the rest of my life. To wake up every morning and be by my side, knowing that no matter what happens, I'll be able to come home to your loving heart. All I want is to share everything with you, to talk to you about our ideas, our dreams, the little everyday things that make us laugh. Not so little things that we can't help but worry about. All I want is to give you my love as a place you can always come to for acceptance. Well, the simple comfort that silence brings when things left unspoken can still be understood. All I want is to grow old with you, to watch our life unfold, our dreams one by one come true. All I want is to love you forever. And from the beginning of time, the ring has had special significance in history. Kings would place their signet upon the ring that all that saw it would know it was of the king. And today, high schools, colleges, lodges, universities, organizations of all types use the ring. But in the marriage ceremony, we use it to show to the entire world that you two have chosen each other. 
and that all that see these rings would recognize and honor that choice. Now, Tasha, I'm going to ask you to take that one off, because this one goes closest to your heart. And take the ring, place it upon her finger. Now, Eric, do you give this ring to Tasha as a token of your love for her? I do. And Tasha, will you wear this ring as a token of your love for him? <laughs> she wants that other one too. <laughs> there you go. Likewise, if you'll take this ring, place it upon his finger, and hold it there. He's had conversations with this finger. <laughs> you give this ring to Eric as a token of your love for him. Eric, will you wear this ring as a token of your love for her? I will. Place your hands on top of each other, all four. Let's <laughs> pray. Our Father, we pray your blessings upon the hands that wear these rings and the hands that gave them. May their love continue to grow from this day forward. May your blessings just pour out upon this home. For it is in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Now before you see several mounds of sand, Representing the families which we create this day. And Eric and Tasha, I'm going to ask if you will to come stand behind. And Noah, Carson, and Jackson, you come over here too and you get one. And we're going to blend them all together in the center, representing the family we established this day. Yes. <laughs> 